And you see his season splits. His first nine games, 12 and two thirds innings, no homers and just two hits allowed. But over his last two, he's just been tattooed. And Jack, it just leads you to wonder with Chad Green, what has changed on that fastball and the stuff that he's throwing to make it so much more eminently hittable than it has been in the past? It's a great question, Bob, and I'd love to hear Aaron Boone and Chad Green's take on it. I mentioned these numbers during the cut in first 42 batters of the season. He did not allow a home run. The next nine batters he faced, four home runs. Three of those four home runs on fastballs. And what I'm seeing from him, Bob, is just getting himself into a situation where the 3 2 count with Alonzo, he didn't get him to bite on any breaking pitches. And then that fastball, yes, you want to throw a strike, but I mean, that was in a spot where Alonzo could do a ton of damage. He's 0 2 with Smith. He has the ability to have some flexibility in that at bat. And again, a fastball that just was in too good a spot for Smith. And then finally with Marisnik, the curveball, Marisnik had fouled off a couple of pitches. And I think Green thought, okay, I've given up a couple of home runs on fastballs. Let me try a little different look here. And Marisnik just hooks that ball down the line. It's troublesome for the Yankees because Green has been so good. He has been so reliable. This is two straight games now where the Yankees thought, bring in Chad Green, get a W, head to the clubhouse. And in both instances, that didn't happen, and they ended up with L's.